Welcome to New Zealand. My name is Paul Smith. I'm a photographer based here in New Zealand. And today we're going to be taking a film negative and we're going to be scanning it. And then we're going to be sending it off to my printer and we're going to be making a C-type print. Getting your images out of your computer, getting those negatives out of those dusty boxes and making them into prints. That's that's the, the theme of today's episode. Uh, the image that we're going to be getting scanned today is an image that was the cover of my first book, Stolen Moments. I got really lucky with this picture. The composition for me just works really well. You know, we've got the, the young boy in the foreground. There's a couple in the center of the image, which to me is the focal point. And then beyond that, there's another couple walking up the beach. And you know, just the tire tracks, the, the light, the beam of light from the left here, it's, it's special. And I think, like I said, I got really lucky with this picture. Really all I had to do was pick up the camera, put it to my eye and uh, push the shutter button. Shot on Fomapan 100. Uh, taken on my Leica M6. I can't remember the lens I used on this image. I think it was a 50mm, but that doesn't matter. It's more about the picture, it's about the photography. We're going to find the negative, we're going to scan it, we're going to make some adjustments in Lightroom, and then we're going to get it sent off to my printer, PCR Imaging in Auckland, and we're going to make a C-type print from it. First thing we have to do though is find the negative, and that could be a bit of a job. So that's where we're going to start off, so let's get into it. Let's find that negative. One of the things I haven't got is a light box. No light box and searching through these negatives can be um, hard work. Okay, got the negatives. Um, let's pluck out this, this negative. Let's uh, chuck it in the scanner and we'll have a look at it and uh, rescan it. So we've done the scan, brought this into Lightroom, and I'll just quickly um, show you what, what edits I've made, made to this. Most of my editing is done in this area here, highlights, shadows, the whites and the blacks. And again, I've tried to keep it as close to the original file as possible, I don't want to do too much. I just brought the foreground up a bit here, I want to accentuate these tire mark in the foreground a bit. The other thing I really like about this image is this beam of light that came through and I didn't really have to do too much of that. On the right hand side it was a little bit underexposed so again I put a, I put a mask across that and just brought the brought those shadows out a little bit there because I want it just to balance it out a little bit there. Um, and really the only other thing I've done here with this masking is I've just I've just put a radial mask around what I think is the central focal point of this image, which is the, the couple that are walking up the beach there. Put uh, Brought up the exposure a little bit, put some clarity on. I just want that to be the focal point of the image so it draws your, your eye into that. And I just love the way everything just balances out in this picture. So that's pretty much, I think, all I've really done to this. Um, again, we'll just have a quick look at else, what else I did. Um, I've just adjusted the tone curve here a little bit here. You know, pulled down those um, shadow areas, lifted up, you know, um, some of the highlights a little bit. I just want to give it a little bit of sparkle. So I've done some sharpening here, and um, I don't think I put a vignette on there. There's no vignetting or anything. So pretty much, it was really a case of just, just tweaking that image up and just getting, you know, you can see how good the negative is. Okay, so that's that's pretty much all I've done to the image, and it's ready to go now. That's ready to go to print. Um, I've cleaned it up. I've, I've just got that looking really co contrasty. It's just a matter now of exporting that uh, that image and then dropping it into the uh, the printer software, online software, and sending it off to them to get printed. I'm excited about this one because like I've said, this is possibly one of my favorite images that I have taken. So I'm really looking forward to getting this back as a print. So let's send that off and um, wait a couple of days to get the prints back. Prints have arrived back. Let's let's have a look at them. I'm dying to, I'm dying to check these out, and um, I can't wait to see what they've come out like. Here we go. Here goes another thing. Better than I imagined. But anyway, um, so there's the print, and an A1 print. You see that? There we go. Um, 
Another stunning job, PCL. Another stunning job. Well done. Um, I've had two different um, copies made of it. I've had the first copy here has got, um, has basically got a, a larger border around it and it's got my, um, it's got my watermark below it and the name of the print. And I also thought I'd get an alternative option printed as well. Um, see if I can pull one of these out. Um, and it's got a small, just a small border around that. There we go. Um, check that out. Beautiful. Beautiful black and white print. That's a piece of New Zealand that hopefully will be on somebody's wall in another part of the world. Can't tell you how rewarding it is to be doing this and uh, to be able to share the experience on my vlog here. You know, I really like the idea of, you know, showing the whole process from get, getting to a location, you know, shooting an image from a location, coming back, talking about what we've, what we've captured and then making a print from the images that we've got and just documenting that story from start to finish. I think it's uh, something that I'm going to be doing a lot more of in future episodes. I think it's the way to go. I'm feeling quite tired at the moment. It's been a, been a lot of work putting this together. So um, well, I have to go now. Um, before I do, if you'd like to support my channel, like I said, you can buy one of these prints on my website, limited copies available. Um, I'll put a link below uh, for the link to my print shop. Um, if you don't want to buy a print, but you'd like to support the channel still, you can buy my brand new book, Incidents of Isolation, which is available uh, for $25, which includes free shipping anywhere in the world. I'll put a link up here to that. I also have copies of my Scenes from the Black Sand still available. There's limited copies of that available. I'm doing a special deal where I'm doing like a two book bundle for a discount price. Um, again, that link up there will take you to the, uh, the bookshop in my website where you can purchase either Incidents of Isolation or Scenes from the Black Sand. I've got to go. That was awesome. Um, hope you enjoyed it. We'll be doing more of this kind of stuff coming up. I'll see you soon. Hi, Dad, from New Zealand. Goodbye.